Welcome to another video from Tim. Totally crappy as usual. Uh, look down here. Hmm. You will see that little box. That's the Zotac that I just bought. A CI 323. It's got a 240 gig hard drive in it. And the uh, the first operating system I decided to use, just to show you folks, if you have a bare bones, empty system, what we have here is Ubuntu Mate. And it'll do quite a few things for us. Like I said, this isn't going to be the best video. But, I don't have a microphone yet <laughs> to plug into the Zotac. So, we're using the Blue Studio Energy 2, my trusty resource. Um, some very cool things I learned. My Logitech K480 Bluetooth keyboard hooks right up. Bing, bang, boom. I was able to install Chrome right up here. What, it's what we're running in. All my bookmarks and other crowd are here. There they are. And the website's here. The other website, Tim's Tablet Server, is down right now. I apologize for that. Although, if you're watching this, you probably won't know what I'm talking about. The idea here is to move Tim's Tablet Web Server onto the Zotac, which has a 240 gig SSD considerably smaller than the Dell but drop in the bucket as far as power goes this thing powers my Dell monitor by the way 1440 by 900 looks pretty good everything works well um, we're getting a 433 megasecond megabit per second connection from our Wi-Fi because it has Wi-Fi AC built in has Bluetooth built in has enough ports to uh, sink a battleship. Um, you can just look that post up on my website for all the specs on this. But this is step one of testing. I skipped over how to put the hard drive in. Uh, what I can tell you is I've got 8 gig of RAM installed um, in just one slot. Uh, supposedly it'll only take 8 gig, maybe I'll buy another 8 gig just to see if it'll take 16. Um, later, maybe today even, we're going to try putting uh, uh, probably, uh, I don't know, we'll go with uh, Windows 7 because I don't have a license for Windows 10. Uh, you know, I have it on my laptop because it came with it, I have it on my Chewy High book. Because it came with it. Um, I'm not really willing to fork out the money for that. But, as you can see, nice smooth operation. Uh, well, we'll just try a few things here. It's a little harder to do on the cell phone. But it seems to be working okay. Uh, where's my graphics? My favorite program, the GIMP. Now remember, this is running all by itself on the Zotac. I'm telling you folks, this is a 1.6 gig per second processor that peaks out at uh, 2.06. And, boom, I have uh, the GIMP up and running right on top of my... Uh, on top of my uh, web browser. There we go. Okay. But it does work good. So I'm going to leave it there for now. I might edit some more onto this or I may prove the snobs out there to be foolish. We say you can't uh, use a lightweight processor like this to edit video because I guarantee I can. Well, 
for now, we're just going to leave this as is. When I come back next, we'll have Windows 7.